Welcome back. I don't know, I intended to do like a what's your boy end of the Northern Lion, Northern Lion type intro, but well, I just don't have the, the spirit for it. Oh man. Blue baby? Well, to be fair, well, nothing's fair about this considering we started on an XL floor, but if we were gonna be fair, we're due for a run of, shall we say, dubious quality. After the last run, which was uh, incredible. We became Guppy. We got an early Spirit of the Night and became Guppy. Early Luckfoot, tons of HP, Miter, could have had the Relic, but chose not to get it. It was pretty late in the game uh, at that point. You know, Quad Shot, just a staggering amount of, of good stuff worked out for us in that last run. We could have some good stuff happen to us on this run as well. Let's not abandon all hope ye who entered here, but, you know, Blue Baby's a little bit of a tougher sell. You know, we start with, we start with no HP. It's a problem. That would actually be a sweet Isaac challenge run, or like a challenge character in Rebirth. Is if there was a character that started like with negative health, the same way that some characters are, or you can force that to happen if you take like a deal with the devil that's too expensive in some situations. That could be cool. Um, so if you take hit, if you take damage ever, you're dead. I guess uh, Judas is almost like that, depending on what rooms you encounter. But anyway, sweet trinket at the very least. We got pinky eye. Pinky eye is oh the mouse pointer was on the screen the whole time. Why didn't anybody tell me? Um, Picky Eyes, one of the best trinkets in the game, I'd say. Maybe A tier, not sure if it's quite S tier. Not sure why I'm still using S tier as like a real thing, it doesn't make it... I, I get where it comes from. Can we just, we all realize that using S above A is just kind of ridiculous and illogical. It's like, you know, Fahrenheit or something. Can we just switch to using A tier as the highest? And then we've got like S tier, A tier, God tier, and everybody's like, I don't know which one's the top just ridiculous. We need standardized nomenclature in our arbitrary power rankings of digital items and digital video games. Anyway, admittedly I'm trying to distract myself from the fact that uh, our mortality might be uh, staring us in the face sooner rather than later. Good thing about Blue Baby, much higher deal with the devil chances I think as a result of not having red health to take damage with to begin with. I might be talking out of my ass there, but that's just, you know, applying the logic and the, the rules that I know about the deal with the devil and, and Blue Baby to be true. Usually take damage, or often take damage on that room. Luckily, worked it out. So far, so good. Pretty easy floor. I feel like my dodging's kind of on point right now. Extra bomb. This is nice because I think I, it's actually theoretically possible with our current bombs and keys that we can access both the item room and the... Sh and, or both item rooms, sorry. Maybe not both item rooms and the shop, but certainly both item rooms, we have a shot at it at least, based on the fact that the secret room could be uh, a portal for entry into that uh, item room that's a little bit lower on the map right now. For right now though, I'm just exploring, and uh, we'll cross these remaining bridges when we come to them. Probably should pick up items as soon as possible so that, we're, you know, we're strong for when we fight the bosses, but let's just keep it cool for now. Kill you, and pretty much perfect timing. Alright. This is a tricky room, believe it or not. Landing those poison poison shots uh, means a lot, actually. That means if they walk in the fire, they'll die. It means they'll probably just die randomly. I was really hoping that maybe we, before we uh, used our key to go to one of the item rooms, we could possibly get up to 15 cents and just uh, go to the shop instead, which could give us like a book of revelations or something like that, obviously. I mean, if you want to apply that logic, the item room could give us the relic or the miter, or even book of revelations, possibly, I think. But, um... The odds of getting Book of Revelations or a, a Spirit Heart item are obviously much higher on, uh... Yes, we will do this. Obviously much higher on the, uh, item room. Or, sorry, on the, the shop than on the item room. Apologies for the sirens, I got my window cracked just the slightest little bit. Because it's, um... Very hot outside and apparently that's illegal. No, that's just gonna let the sound bleed in a little bit more. Come on, give me one more key or pay out. Wow. Okay, I mean, there is a little bit of that on Blue Baby runs, typically. You know, you, you end up getting a lot of red hearts when you don't need them. You end up inevitably getting Little Chad or Charm of the Vampire. Little Chad's worse than Charm of the Vampire because you have to fight a boss for the privilege of not taking his item. Because it does make, uh, you know, Miter worse and also just a lower chance of Spirit Heart generation to begin with. We can, we can handle this room. Just be smart about it. There we go. Very good. There is a Tinted Rock here. Kind of a tricky situation. Oh, that's perfect. Got very lucky that I could actually make that happen because I didn't want to use a bomb to uh, get the tinted rock. 
because I want to use those bombs to maybe try to breach access into the secret room here. Especially now that I need that money to get that judgment to pay out so my previous, uh, you know, investments are not completely in vain. So this would be ideal. Don't really want to talk about it. <laughs> That's okay. Let's check out our other item room up here. I don't know why I'm checking out this one. I could have checked out the other one, I guess, but superstitious, I guess. Good choice. Yeah, there's a uh, little Chad. I don't think he can show up later if I see him now. There's no point to picking it up. It's actually like deleterious to pick it up. I told you we'd end up getting a little Chad. The game's trolling me a little bit, but I'm playing well enough reasonably that it doesn't seem to be mattering too much. We will invest all of our bombs into finding the secret room. So there's three more like likely places for it. So we don't have enough bombs, but I wanted to try anyway. Uh, we'll see what we get from our bosses here, but first I'm going to give this last remaining scent to Judgment. It's possible this floor has been kind of mishandled, I'll admit. If we saved our money, we might have been able to use our key to go to the shop if we could find the secret room, but... That'll depend on whether or not we get, like, Pageant Boy or something from the bosses. Okay. Well, you've taken 10 cents of mine and given me nothing tangible in return except for items that I can't use. Let's fight our two bosses, shall we? First one is going to be... I hoped it would be Blue Famine, but, uh... This is a pretty balanced boss fight. You fight Red Famine, uh, it's an easier boss fight, you get a slightly smaller reward. You fight Blue Famine, it's a harder boss fight, you get a Spirit Heart out of it. Which is uh, obviously preferable for us in our current situation, but can't always get what you want. Very important that we take as little damage as possible, we still don't have any means of replenishing our Spirit Hearts. Uh, that's the first damage you take in this run, so I don't feel too salty about it, but I'd like to improve upon that. There we go, finally landed a, a Clutch Poison shot there. Careful, careful, and we should be good after this. All right, there's one spirit heart. If I ever needed poop to pay out with like a nickel, that was it then, because that judgment could help us out a lot. All right, poison shots against this pin should help out a lot. Apart from that, we're just gonna stay as far away as possible, because this is really the room uh, where we don't want to take damage. If we can avoid taking damage on this room, life is but a dream. We could end up getting a really high deal with the devil chance, Pick up nine lives, steal another deal with the devil for the nail or something. I'm dreaming a little bit here, but I'm just a dreamer. I dream my life away, you know? There you go. Okay, no deal with the devil, but pills. Pills kind of scare me. They, there could be many things there. There are. Let's see what we got. Tears up. Great. Luck up. Maybe bad. Health down. Awful. Telepills over here. Meaningless. Okay. So that's the end of this floor. What did we get? A tears upgrade. A tears upgrade. And a cube of meat. Fantastic. <laughs> That's not a great payout for an XL floor, especially on a, a very sensitive and, and fragile run, which Blue Baby runs tend to be. Now, a tears upgrade is lovely, don't get me wrong. At times, tears upgrades are the, the best uh, stat upgrade, in my opinion. But we certainly need a lot more. We're gonna make this run work out uh, in our favor. Keys would be a good start. Samson's lock is not as good as Pinky's eye, in my opinion. Pinky eye, I should say. And we got a Gertie fight. Now, Gertie, not so bad, in my opinion. Uh, since we have Pinky eye, our damage isn't very good relative to what I would like it to be. I got very lucky there. Uh, but the fact that we have damage over time makes it a little bit more palatable here. We can also kill those nubs. There we go. Okay, so we're in a good zone right now. As long as Gertie just keeps shooting, that's great news for me. We do the poison damage. Poison damage whittles them down. Uh, we take out the nubs as soon as they spawn, without putting ourselves too much in harm's way. Oh, flies should be taken care of as well. That's a problem. Alright, flies and nubs is where things get a little tricky on these Gertie fights. Come on. I really don't want to take damage because our deal with the devil chances are dependent on it. Good. It's a very tricky uh, placement here. Oh, thank you, cube of meat. Oh, come on, finish it, finish it, finish it. Yes, okay, we got out uh, of the Gertie fight without taking damage. That was that was tight there. And deal with the devil. Range upgrade. All right. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. It's clear that the game doesn't want us to win. 
And if the game doesn't want us to win, there's not much we can do about it. Except uh, survive as long as it's humanly possible, and then, um, I don't know, start, start anew another day. But for right now, I'm feeling uh, a little bit victimized by the game. Mind you, you know, HP is not as value. It's a weird situation. HP is valuable as Blue Baby, because you need it to live. But it's not as valuable as it is on a, a Red Heart dependent character, strangely enough. So, you know, it's not necessarily a kiss of death that we don't have any HP yet, but... Certainly, we're gonna need some keys, we're gonna need better payouts from boss rooms. You know, the ideal thing is if you don't get, uh, HP upgrades from bosses as Blue Baby, tears upgrades, damage upgrades, you know, crate, squeezy, something like that, uh, those items all help out a great deal. Range upgrades are probably maybe the most meaningless stat. Maybe second most meaningless, you know, you could argue possibly, uh... Thank God. You could argue possibly that uh, speed is less important, I guess, or luck, I guess, if you want to even include that. Um, but, you know, having speed and everything, not having it is. Black Bean. It's basically Poison Touch. Not worth, at this point, getting into the semantics of why it's slightly different, but... Uh, sure, Black Bean's fine. It's not the game-busting item that I need right now, but it is a passive item. That helps. Envy. We could possibly pick up uh, Shoop the Whoop here, or Attack Fly. Uh, you know, neither of which is going to win the game for me, and that's fine. I would take either, though. It's one of the very few situations where I'm not saying like I really want Attack Fly as opposed to uh, Shoop the Whoop. I'm I'm content with either. Poop has not been very good for me. We've we picked up next to no money from it thus far, at least not in, in very important situations, which are easiest to remember. Now, just be smart here. I, the one thing I've got going for me right now is that I've been playing okay. I've only been hit once on the entire run. Got an HP downgrade pill that took some of my health, but I, uh, I got hit once against Famine by a, a Grandfather Fly. It counts, but still. All right, we got Shoop the Whoop and another key, which obviously we can't even use to use this golden chest or to open this golden chest, so... I don't really feel comfortable losing a spirit heart to go to this curse room. I think we just go down to the next floor. And hope that uh, th things are a little brighter there. Because here, you know, we're three floors deep and it's been pretty shitty for us so far. Blue Baby is a, a character that is very much dependent on items. I mean, all characters in Isaac are dependent on items, but Blue Baby is, you know, one of the choicest examples, I guess you could say. Ladder would actually be super useful for me. Never a good situation when you're you're actually calling for the ladder, but there's uh, hopefully an effective use of shoot the whoop. One thing's for sure: if I'm going to survive long enough to actually get some good items, I'm going to have to use the space bar items I have uh, fairly, you know, consistent. I don't know how that kill was there. Yeah, your guess is as good as mine as to how uh, that turret died in seemingly one hit. Now just be cool here. Certainly a far cry from the uh, incredible damage that we had on the last run. I should have been hit there. Probably should have been hit there, too. So just, if one of these shots could be poison. Man, okay, try it again. Oh. Come on, four shots, really? Goat hoof. It's a speed upgrade. We don't want it, though. So we'll do it like that, and exit. <sighs> what do we have in here? Oh, can't, can't even open it, uh, at least in good conscience. We want to save our key and use it for the item room. I'm not... I, I might sound demoralized. I'm not demoralized yet. There's plenty of time left to, to make something happen here. I'm just racking my brain for, like, the outs, you know? Like, I'm racking my brain for the items we get that make it possible for us. I know Kamikaze... A lot of people talk about Kamikaze Blue Baby. There's, there's some synergy, some interaction there because of the Polaroid. Sure. I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, I don't really know or use the kamikaze glitch because I think it's bullshit that the kamikaze glitch is supposedly okay But when I brim snap people go crazy about it, but I guess brimstone's an item that kind of attracts that attention regardless um, So I'm not gonna pick it up Even though it might be more useful eventually than shoot the whoop It's not like right now. We have a great reservoir of health where I can be like yeah You know eventually I'm gonna be totally okay losing a spirit heart to do two explosions worth of damage or four explosions worth of damage so I think we just unfortunately end up leaving Kamikaze. We could try to use it to find a secret room or something at, you know, great potential risks to ourselves, but let's just find our boss room right off the bat. So, well, not really right off the bat. It's closing in on the end of the floor here. I'd rather not use Shoop the Whoop here if I can avoid it. Might be able to avoid it. Really, the, the clutch here for us is uh, 
pinky eye, because if we poison someone and they end up in the ooze state, then the poison damage is enough to kill them without my input. But really, the more enemies that get taken out, the easier life becomes for, uh, for us. And uh, there you go, no problems. Extra bomb. I didn't see a tinted rock on the way here. All right, well, I'm very tempted to use Shoop de Whoop, but just land some poison shots and uh, all is forgiven. Problem is these guys have such great AI, they actually end up like heading you off a lot of the time. There we go, I took an extra risk and took out one of them, and the rest will follow shortly thereafter. And, oh, good, 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 good. Save Shoop de Whoop for an unexpected boss room potentially, which there it is, if we don't move. Oh, they found us! <laughs> I was gonna say, if, if we don't move, they can't see us, but that's okay. It's only the second time we've taken damage over this entire run. Why we're not getting more deals with the devil or, God forbid, Angel, I have no idea, but... Let's try to make that happen here. Pestilence! Uh, so Pestilence, you could be my lucky fucking star right here if you want to blow up this, uh... This Tinted Rock. Save me a bomb. Which is unfortunately exceptionally precious right now. And there we go, two Spirit Hearts. So we can at least get our HP back to where it was before we took that damage on like the first floor boss and the uh, the health downgrade pill of course. Well, thankfully we got that range upgrade. Thank you for the crowd control there. I always like to say thank you even to inanimate uh, objects in video games. Some Canadian stereotypes are kind of true. People always ask me, hey, you ever see a moose? Yeah, I've been to the fucking zoo. Have you ever seen a Siberian tiger? Are you Siberian? Hey, you must eat a lot of maple syrup. I don't even fucking like maple syrup, you racist. It's not okay to say that to, to people. You must like this kind of food because you're Canadian. Well, you know, if they did, maybe it's just because it's delicious not to steal that Dave Chappelle bit, but... Jesus. You're American. You must, like, if you flip that around the other way, you must love cheeseburgers and french fries. You, you're just as likely to encounter an American who's like, oh, I'm a vegetarian. I don't, I'm like a... Octo... Pis pescatarian or something. Ovo pescatarian, I guess. Anyway, all I'm trying to say is those jokes, if they're funny to you, stop being such a dingle. It's not like I'm actually offended by the, you know, quote unquote, you know, anti Canadian. They're not really anti Canadian, but, you know, jokes that play on Canadian stereotypes. I'm not offended by them at all. It's just, you know, you get tired of hearing them all the time. You think you're the cleverest motherfucker in the world, and so, oh, you're Canadian? Do you, uh, does your jaw look like the jaw on South Park does when they talk? You're like the nine millionth person to ask me that, and they all think they're the funniest person on planet Earth. Uh, we're heading down to the next floor. We got a second cube of meat. We don't have any keys. We're not taking Kamikaze. Give it a rest. How do we end up winning this run? Shit, dude. Maybe if I just go on some more, like, uh, tangents about being self-righteous, then it'll, uh, it'll just work itself out, right? That's apparently been my plan thus far. That was bad damage. You know, but fuck it, I think I've earned myself the right to, to take a little bad damage, uh, based on the fact that I've been handling my dodges pretty well. I've only been hit three times over the course of this whole fucking run. Maybe four now, but still. Give me a little credit here. At least we killed one. Uh, I kind of knew going into it that it would be difficult to hit all of them with a the laser, but I figured we'd do our best. The fact that I'm like min-maxing my shoop the whoop usage should tell you that we're fucked. At least for, for where we are in the game right now, we're in a terrible spot. Bad spacebar item. Fairly bad attributes. Um, you know, no way to replenish spirit hearts, which could be the kiss of death as Blue Baby. Uh, awful item room so far, and beyond that, we've been hamstrung by a lack of consumables. So, I don't see this run lasting too, too much longer, but... It's not a bad run on my own merits so far. I, I have taken, at least on this floor, yeah, Poison Touch is pretty good for us. Uh, I have taken on this floor a little bit more damage than, uh, I would like. A little bit more damage than I can feel comfortable with, but at the same time... I, I think leading up to this floor, I'd, I'd played pretty well. And that might still be rewarded. There's a chance we can still pull this out. I mean, we have, what, two item rooms, two shops. We haven't even been to a shop yet. Um, we haven't had very much money at all. We gave 10 cents to Judgment on the first floor. He didn't pay out with anything except two red hearts, and uh, that, that's been it, unfortunately. And then our item, <laughs> yeah, item rooms have been, you know, Kamikaze, Little Chub. I can't even remember some of the other ones. Hopefully I went to them, otherwise that's going to cause a shitstorm. Thank you, Poison Touch. And... Anything? Anything? Another key that doesn't hurt? 
I, I still can't believe that we haven't had deals with the devil, by the way. Like, that seems like something that we should have earned. Like, I almost feel like the I didn't restart the game in between episodes and it's acting up or something as a result. I doubt that's actually the case, though. I'm gonna get caught here, aren't I? Stuck in a moment I can't get the fuck out of. Oh, okay. We lived. You've got to get yourself together. Please blow up the blue rock. Because I can't afford a bomb. Thank you. Okay. Now, for once, we actually could, uh, you know, open this golden chest. I'm starting to think that it's a very smart idea for us to do so. We don't have a lot of keys. Maybe we'll wait and see how our, our boss fight goes. Come on. That should do it. Alright, well, okay. It's definitely worth using a bomb. I think it's worth using a key, then, if it's worth using a bomb. Yeah, that's fine. We could use a speed upgrade. Maybe we'll get small rock. And a little gish. Okay, so, I mean, it's good. This is probably the best boss might we've gotten. Even better than both of the cubes of meat combined. At the same time, uh, it's, it, you know, it's no squeezy or anything like that. Uh, which would be really good for us right now. Got ourselves in a bit of a weird position. Alright, poison touch. Do the dirty here. Thank you. Kill this gish. And unless we get a, a strikingly good deal with the devil here, I'm pretty confident that we don't make it too much further into the game. This is our second to last... That was so bad. Second to last likely deal with the devil chance. I thought I could run under him, but his jump's too shallow. Yeah, second to last likely deal with the devil chance. Deal with the angel could work too. Deal with the devil is just a little bit more of a shortcut usually. Oh, fuck me. Okay, well... At this point, we're actually... Probably about twice as weak as we were by the end of the Basement XL on my last run. Which, trust me, that nobody gets sadder about that than me. Um, Mom's Pad. It's better than the Shoop to Whoop. We don't get to use it very often, but it is better, I think. Just give me some passive items instead of constantly, like, making me choose these, like, nickel and dime type decisions here, please. I am forced into a position, in my opinion. Uh, where I have to give four cents to this judgment, even though it's not likely that it'll pay out, basically on the chance that it'll play out, you know? It's like being below the poverty line and playing the lottery, you know? It's the only reasonable solution that you have available, given the tools at your disposal, for some people. Now, we're gonna move along here. I'm trying to, you know, break my habit of using uh, spacebar items too conservatively. And I think it's a very smart idea, and it's an idea that's gonna save us spirit hearts long term. Beautiful. Okay, this could be good, you know? We've got to consider every challenge and opportunity at this point in the game. This is an opportunity for us to pick up Mr. Mega or something like that. Possibly. Come on. Kick some bombs at me. You know you want it! Too juicy to pass up. There we go. Oh, we got five bombs out of it, which is actually pretty sweet. I'm assuming that we'll be able to go to the secret room. Let's check down here. Hey, finally. And that's, uh, that's money. Not quite enough money to make me feel good about the shop, though. And maybe that's what killed me, is playing these judgments. You wouldn't even consider it reckless, except in this very fringe situation, but playing the judgment slightly recklessly, th uh, having the gall to imagine that a first floor judgment might pay out with at least a useful consumable in 10 cents, um, has put me permanently financially behind the eight ball. And that's uh, prevented me from finding items like maybe Book of Revelations, which is in here, but is slightly too expensive. We gotta try for it. How do we do it? Well, we don't spend any money on judgment. Any more money on judgment, I should say. This doesn't carry us, but it at least gives us a goddamn chance. Uh, yeah, we'll use two bombs to blow this up. We're gonna have to use a key. I don't think I can get to these consumables. That's fucked up. It's a pill. Is that worth two bombs and a key for? Probably not. If there was money over there, even just a little bit, I'd take it. And there's also the possibility that Judgment could pay out with enough to give us something, but... Oh, Judgment's the only thing that's left. We're not gonna blow up Judgment. We're gonna play him and hope that he gives us an out. Not getting Book of Revelations is gonna hurt, though, but we still would have been one cent short. Unless I had uh, not played that Judgment back on the first floor, but... Man, if you're gonna hold that against me, that hurts. Uh, we got... we got the compass, at least. That feels pretty good. 
I don't think there's any other way for us to gain health on this floor, so we'll leave. Very excited about that. As you can tell, Necropolis. So the game has decided to take the kid gloves off, and, and now it's time to really, uh, you know, fuck me. This is a perfect use of, well, perfect room to use uh, Mom's pad on. It's a terrible room. If you can fly, this room's no big deal. If you can't fly, basically get fucked. How many times can I say the F word in one room? I think it's the first time I've said, you know, in quotation marks, the F word in like six years. I felt like I was instantly 15 when I said, quote unquote, the F word again. Harlequin Baby. It's an item we can use. Thank the fucking heavens, I guess. Harlequin Baby, are you gonna be our savior on this run? I'm gonna guess probably not. That could have been the hero font. Of course we get the stars card after I already use a key. It's kind of like a perfect microcosm of what this run has been so far. Now let's not get too negative here. There's a mini boss that's not greed, which is great. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that Wheel of Fortune, but I'm taking the stars card with me through the mom fight. To possibly snag that all important deal with the devil. What's my ideal deal with the devil? It would be like nine lives for three spirit hearts. No, that wouldn't be good. It would be, well, first we'd have to get to three spirit hearts, and then it would be, um, Mom's Knife. It has to be at this point, doesn't it? Well, that's a perfect trade for us here. Uh, we don't know. Balls of Steel? Health down and bad trip. At this point, this doesn't happen very often. I think I've almost taken more damage from pills. Probably shouldn't stand too close to that head, huh? I've almost taken more damage from pills than I have from uh, enemies. We could die here. Poison. Poison killed the mask, but didn't quite kill the heart. <laughs> oh, get it, get the fuck away. Just get the fuck away. There's no spirit heart for sale. I could really use that uh, that blue candle, I'll tell you that much. We're probably gonna die. I hope that you're you're ready for that. I don't know why I would gamble in this situation. Seems kind of silly. Um, and this run's going up, man. I know it seems like, oh, you know, you didn't get very far. You, did you do two runs in this episode? This run has been like four times more mentally taxing than the last episode. I have taken some dumb damage, but if you stacked up all the dumb damage I took on this run. It's probably equal to like one floor of the dumb damage I took on the last run. So I feel relatively proud of my play, as strange as that might seem, based on the fact that it's not looking too good. I almost don't want to fight this mini boss in case it's like fucking Ultra Pride or something. If it's Ultra Pride, we would just lose. If it's Gluttony, we could get HP, but the risk is is there. It's real. Okay, what do we got in this room then? Uh, that's that's fantastic. We have to try for it, even though we need the money to buy Blue Candle. This is the shit, man. We keep spending so we can never actually get more powerful. Okay, that's that's it then. We're just gonna get that. We're gonna save four cents. Now we can go down here and fight this mini boss. If we can just find the secret room, maybe we can get enough money. Nope. And here. Yes. Okay. Thank God there was a nickel in there. We're one penny away from having blue candle. Blue candle has the slightest glimmer of hope of carrying us. It's lust, we're fast enough. And we can slow it, that's good. And the poison damage, and all that good stuff. We already have poison touch, what's the pill? Telepills. We can use that instead of the stars card, I guess. We got the money, we can get blue candle. Holy shit, is this how we get ourselves out of this fucking mess here? We get blue candle, and then we have a small chance? It's definitely by far the best thing that's happened to us in this run. Just the fact that we're still alive right now is remarkable in and of itself. Not really a staggering bounty of Tinted Rocks either. We've had a few, but... Man. Not very many. Okie dokie. I say we fight the boss and then use our telepills right away and try to make this work. Can't do anything about that. Yeah, we're out of keys, which is not amazing. Distinctly less than amazing. Some of the worst luck I've had in, in quite some time. That is pretty much perfect, though. Okay. 
Boss is right around the corner here. Oh, shit. Ah, there we go. That was a massacre at the end there. And one penny. We can gamble that away. It's Red Mom. It actually doesn't bother me that much. We can get a few shots in, in the interim period, but really it's gonna be blue candle into the walls at this uh, point. Just gonna finish this fight very quickly. Keep it up, and we're good, man. Fight's over. And we got the crate, which is really amazing, actually. And we got a second telepills, which, you know, take it or leave it. Kane's eye, I don't mean to take. Um, Polaroid, it's good. Maybe we can steal a deal with the devil on the next floor. Uh, oh, we want Polaroid instead of pinky eye, that's true. Telepills out. Okie dokie. Maybe we'll get insanely lucky. <sighs> what do you what do you do in this situation, right? We shouldn't be alive. We are, and now we have a very small chance to make it work. A very, very small chance. I don't even want to entertain the thought of like talking about what our outs are for this run. It's obvious. Anything that gives us more spirit hearts is an out. Preferably not a space bar item at this moment, because I can't really afford to get rid of uh, Blue Candle. It's our highest damage dealer, which makes it also, almost by definition, the best defensive item we have as well. By virtue of the fact that it destroys enemies before they can destroy us. Thank God Blue Candle is super overpowered. So, let's see if we got this deal with the devil. I almost want to open this golden chest. Uh, you know what I want to do, actually? I want to gamble, because I want to be over three spirit hearts. If we can get a spirit heart and be over three spirit hearts, we can take a deal with the devil. Okay, that's huge. If there's a deal with the devil. Now, and if there's a deal with the devil, we can take both because of the Polaroid uh, invincibility. Which I believe it does allow you to steal deal deals with the devil as Blue Baby. I'm a fucking maze that we made it past, um, past Mom here. We had some good dice rolls, but... Man, that was a... it was a slog. No deal with the devil. We've come to expect that at this point. I don't even know if I'm ever going to use telepills, so let's take the chariot card instead. I don't like using telepills past uh, that point in the game. Okay, be, be cool here. I'm trying to figure out how I would actually use blue candle effectively here. Obviously, I've got to get line of sight. There's one. Just be patient. Patience has helped me out a lot on this run. I think that's two. Be cool. That's good. One more. Where is he? Oh, he's all the way over there. That went really well. Ah, this room is like the antithesis of that last one. Everything went super quickly. We got out of it getting hit once. Should be able to get out of this room without getting hit. Been through this many a time before. Pretty good. No spirit hearts. You know, yep, I did it. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I think I might want to pop the chariot card here instead of on a boss. But there was no time to get the words out. Now, if you want to talk about the game fucking me, how about forcing me to fight Conquest uh, when I'm not going to take a shitty item and, uh, you know, he's the most difficult boss, I think that you reasonably encounter in the game. This isn't the door, I shouldn't be standing here, I got lucky. Yeah, so basically fuck Conquest is what I'm trying to say, and fuck that the game gave me Conquest right here. But I'm not going out like this, or at least I'm gonna do my damnedest not to go out like this. Where are you gonna be? Where are you gonna be? Right there? Perfect. Good for me if it's good for you. Oh, fuck. Come on, just die. Just die. He died. No deal with the devil for us. We gotta stick with Blue Candle. We've been in this situation before. If you think you can do that floor better, then, um, well, by all means, you, I bow down to your Isaac skills. Wish there was a way to see the seed on this run. Maybe there is in Spider-Mod and I just don't know it, but this would be an interesting seed to play on your own and see if you could, uh, finagle a victory where, where I seem to only be courting defeat. Ooh! There you go. Look. I tried. I'm proud of that run, even if you uh, thought that there was a fuck up somewhere there. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. We'll be back with an Isaac run next, which will help me out a lot, as opposed to those terrible uh, item rooms we had there. But in any case, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.